Today I want to introduce artist Chan, Dan Chang, one of the top 10 well-known painters in Taiwan in the 1960s. Chan Dan Chang is most famous for his freehand brushworks on animals, insects, flowers, and birds. In fact, his landscapes and figure paintings are also very good. Chan Dan Chang was born in Jima, Sandon, from 1919 to 2009. Even though his family was very poor when he was young. However, when his grandfather took him to the yearly bazaar during Chinese New Year, Spring Festival, the Chinese folk arts, especially made for the Lunar New Year, attracted him and unleashed his potential in Chinese paintings. After he arrived in Taiwan, he taught at Keelung Middle School and Jiangwo Middle School. Worked as a professor and department head of fine arts at Chinese Culture University. As well as the director of the fine arts department of the National Academy of Arts. He taught a total of 50 years and had students all over the world. One of his students is Mrs. Florence Drumright, wife of Ambassador Everett F. Drumright. People honored him as the three perfections in calligraphy, painting, and seal carving. In 1990, he became the first visiting professor from Taiwan to the École Supérieure des Beaux-Arts in Paris, France, to teach calligraphy, painting, and seal carvings. He received numerous awards and his works are collected by many art museums all over the world. Let's first look at the inscription of the first painting. It is written to Ambassador Drumright and Mrs. Florence Drumright. Rani New Year's Day, written by Chen Dan Chang. It was on January 1, 1962. He presented it to the ambassador couple for appreciation. Now let's look at this painting. He uses freehand brush strokes. With just a few strokes, to draw a majestic, heroic rooster. Who strides forward with high spirits but looks back instantly. If he hadn't had solid sketching skills from his lifelong learning, and had the extraordinary ability to observe the subtleties and memorize them by heart. And ordinary people wouldn't imagine how could he make it. As for the bamboo in the second painting, we can see that bamboo trunk and branches are strong and powerful, thick trunk and thin branches are arranged nicely, and bamboo leaves with dark and gray ink colors scattered elegantly. He painted one of the four gentlemen in the flowers, bamboo. The bamboo symbolizes a gentleman with integrity, determination, resilience, and perseverance characters. And this painting shows his characters too. The third painting is called Zuju 2, Wish Someone Be Promoted. It is September of the 65th year of the Republic of China written at the San Diego Museum of Art. Chan Dan Chang wrote the sparrow, Yao Man Gu painted the bamboo and wrote the inscription. It was in 1976. Chan Dan Chang held a solo exhibition at the San Diego Museum of Art. And they drew this picture on the spot. Chan Dan Chang painted a sparrow, and Yao Man Gu painted bamboo and wrote this postscript. I speculated that after drawing, they gifted it to Mrs. Florence Drumright, thanked her for making this exhibition possible. Mrs. Florence Drumright gifted all the unframed or unmounted paintings to the San Diego Chinese Historical Museum in 1996. Owing to this painting has no frame and no mounting paper either, therefore, we can see this historical painting as a souvenir today at this exhibition. Finally, let's look at the inscription of the fourth painting titled San Chin Two, Three Flowers with Noble and Pure Characters. In the winter of year Gui Cho, Florence Drumright drew Plum Blossom, Dong Meijin planted the orchids, and Chen Dan Chang added chrysanthemums. It means in the winter of 1973. Florence Drumright drew Plum Blossom. Dong Meijin drew the orchids. Then Chen Dan Chang added chrysanthemums. 
Who is Dong Meishen? Dong Meishen was the wife of then Premier Yu Guahua. Chen Dan Chang at that time was not only one of the Chinese painting teachers of Madame Chang, Sung Mei Ling, but also the teacher of many officials' wives. So, after Mrs. Florence Drumright arrived in Taiwan in 1958, Madame Chang introduced all of her own painting teachers to Mrs. Drumright. That's why Mrs. Drumright was able to paint Chinese paintings so well later on. Actually, because she's standing on the shoulders of giants. All her teachers are the most famous artists from China to Taiwan then. Finally, after Chin Dan Cheng added the chrysanthemum. Then he used his exquisite seal carving fonts to write this calligraphy inscription and to record the rare work, drawn by three of them. That's what I'm sharing with you today. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.